Hello everybody, welcome to my cooking show. I'm super excited to have my guest on today. Her name is Whitney, and Whitney, you're a cookbook author? Yes. Can yeah. You brought your cookbook, can I we did. see it? I did. Oh my gosh, so beautiful, can I hold it? Yes. I wanna touch it. It's my baby. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. Like you walk around, like you like cradle oh, it. Like seriously. This I know, right? The labor of love. They're so hard, cookbooks are it hard. It was really hard. But they're so fun. It was very rewarding, yeah. definitely. Okay, I'm gonna show some pictures. Cause these are like the most gorgeous pictures ever. Right? Mm -hmm. So I found you on Instagram yeah. and you put you put recipes on Instagram sometimes. I do, too, little right? ones. Yeah, yeah. Little ones. So but I saw your pictures of your food and I was like, wait, and her cookbook and I just <laughs> I was like, we have to have you on. This is awesome. Yes. This is beautiful. This Thank is gorgeous. You. So what's your Instagram handle? Just Whitney Ingram. Just Whitney Ingram. And yeah. you can find the family flavor. We'll put a link to it on Amazon. Yep. Right? Yep. Cool. She's awesome. Thank you. No, thank, thank you so you. much for I love they call her a she. <laughs> That's oh, so awesome. It is my baby. I know, I know, right? Yeah. Are you doing another one soon? Someday. <laughs> I need to get up the guts. Oh my gosh. It's, it I know, you yeah. get it done, you're like, yeah, I'm not gonna have a baby for yeah, a I long can't time. Wash again. my hands of that for a while. <laughs> but that one, uh, awesome. I'm super thank excited you. about thank it. Thank you. So we're making pumpkin pudding today. Yeah. Although it has no pumpkin in it. Yes. So we sell this little beautiful thing right here. Not the plate, we just sell the pie. It's called pumpkin fudge pie yeah. and it's actually not made with any pumpkin it's made with carrot juice and oh but what I love about it about the top of it is you can make it into a pudding so you can make it into a pudding or you can make it into a pie yeah. so we're gonna do the pudding part today okay Excellent. so I'm gonna and you will get to eat some of this later yeah. okay <laughs> you would be like Excuse really me, mad if we, we're not ending this cooking yes. show till you get to taste about that okay so this is kind of the binder for it and kind of okay. a thickener it's just raw cashews okay. so we just throw them in a blender I'm going to have you help me throw all this stuff in. You want to? Absolutely. How about if you scrape this out? So this is like a dark agave, and I use a really high quality oh. organic agave that's actually lower in fructose than a lot of people think, so it's a really good one. And then we have two cups of carrot juice. Okay. So we just juice this. You, you know what's awesome about carrot juice is you can freeze it. Oh, I didn't so know So if you that. wanted to make Usually this... they would like separate and get all gross, no, it, right? No, well, it looks kind of gross, but for something like this... It awesome. Great. Works great. Yeah. Okay. So, so if you want to do this for Thanksgiving or something, and you need you to do some ahead. ahead work, yeah. Brilliant. Yes, I know, right? Okay. Cool. So, two cups of juiced carrots. How many carrots was that? What'd you guess? Oh, let's see. It takes about. It takes quite a bit. About a five-pound bag to do a quart. Okay. You a little less than that. Right. So you need you need a good two and a half pound bag to do okay. this. But you know, carrots are cheap, right? They are. So you want to put the nutmeg in. Mm-hmm. Smells good, huh? Love so it. the thing that makes this so awesome and tastes so much like pumpkin is we have these huge amounts of spices. Yes, so yes. then we have cinnamon, cinnamon and cloves. I'll let you put the cloves in and a lot of ginger, <laughs> which mm -hmm. I love. Absolutely. And then a little coconut oil. So I'm going to put some coconut oil in there. Okay. And then all you do literally is blend this up. That's it's it. Yeah, oh it's gosh. so easy. Brilliant. So I'm going to turn on the blender and I'll blend it up. Easiest. Right? Yes. Yeah. I'm already a big fan. <laughs> I know, right? So I usually put it through, for the sake of the show, we'll just show you this. I usually put it through a couple more times because sure. you want those cashews to be really, really ground, super creamy and ground. Right. So I want to just show you something. I'm just going to pour a little bit out. Look how liquidy it is right now. Mm -hmm. You see that? Yeah. Super, super liquidy. But what happens when you put it in the fridge is it kind of sets up. Okay. So see that? From the cashews. Yeah. Oh, okay. They just yeah. kind of have this thickening Amazing. property. I know. Isn't it great? So a lot of times what we'll do is put it in the freezer first and then you can move it to the fridge. Yeah. But it will work if you put it straight in the fridge too. Awesome. So you can make this even the whole thing ahead of time and put it in the freezer and it's right. awesome. Oh, I love so I love we're going to do a little scoop. I know, right? You have kids, right? You're all like, free. you're yeah. you're busy. You're a busy mom. I am yeah. all for easy. Me too. Okay. So I'm just going to scoop this out. We're going to make it pretty. And you know you wanted the chocolate, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do. So we're going to put some chocolate on here. Yum. So we have this awesome chocolate dispenser that we use at our kitchen to cover our chocolate-covered macaroons oh, yeah. and other things. So we're going to put some chocolate on here before you try it. All right. Awesome. Here it is. And you could garnish this with some little, some more spices. I used mm -hmm. all our spices, but you could put some some cinnamon oh, sticks yeah. on here. Don't be shy. Really? <laughs> How's that? Should I stop yet? Tell uh, me when. <laughs> okay, That's Isn't fine. that pretty? That is lovely. And so like a cinnamon stick on top of that? that Wouldn't is, that be pretty? Be so yeah. Pretty. Okay, so go ahead so, and try some of that. Okay. I already know I love it. You don't care if I try out of the same bowl, right? 
I want you to. <laughs> you want me to? Oh. We're best friends by now, right? This is heaven. Oh my gosh. I love it. It smooth, is heaven. Smooth texture. I get like surprised that. sometimes mm. <laughs> with my resumes. Really that my... good. <laughs> That's exactly what I, no, I'm just kidding. That is so no, good. No, but I forget how good this stuff is sometimes, you know? Yeah. And usually I eat this frozen, so I forget, mm -hmm. like, the texture is a little bit smoother and mm, softer. It. when it. Try this one, though. And this is the pie that you Uh-huh. Here, I'll hold, so. I'll hold this, like, down What's for you. What's the so. crust on this? It's just cr um, crushed up almonds. Oh, nice. Super easy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we just crush up some almonds in the bottom of a pie plate. Oh, then almonds. pour some chocolate on top. Like some good chocolate. I think we'll, we'll someday have the recipe on. We actually have the recipe on for this. Oh. This is the same stuff that goes on the chocolate covered macaroons. I love those. You, this recipe is on I really my website. Those. That is, that is Isn't that good? Isn't mm. it so good? Yes. Yeah, so so good. that's it. So you can, it's a, an amazing Thanksgiving treat. It's also vegan and gluten free. Oh. So if you have people coming to Even your Thanksgiving better. who are vegan or gluten free, mm -hmm. perfect. perfect. And everyone will eat it. That's what's so great about it. You they don't have to know. like, nobody will know. That, yeah. They won't know. They'll just yeah. think it's delicious. Yep. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. So good. So thank you so much for being on. I appreciate it. This is the best. Thank you so much. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching.